What's up guys? Good morning. I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm on my way to work and I decided to come on here to talk about the series finale of Game of Thrones. So, where do I start? Okay. So after watching this finale, like, half an hour to an hour after I watched it I remember thinking to myself I don't feel like I just watched the very last episode of this show like I just I feel underwhelmed I feel unaffected I just don't feel satisfied okay and let me just okay let me just start by saying i have never experienced a television show giving me as much anxiety as game of thrones okay there were i mean some episodes especially some of the battles like um the like the end of season seven that battle like where i was just literally on the edge of my seat like oh my god just glued just you know some like I said some of the battle scenes were amazing and just I mean just a lot of things that happened like anxiety <laughs> you know I would be thinking about it like the next day and stuff but this this finale I just I don't want to jump on the bandwagon and um like agree with what everyone else is saying and say that this season was a total flop there were some good moments in this season but I do have to agree with what a lot of people are saying in that this season was entirely too rushed way too rushed and even if the same things had happened and the same people had still died I feel like they should have like I don't know it was just too rushed and some of these deaths you know the death of some of these antagonists you know were just too quick and easy like too simple for example the night king's death so all these seasons it was just all this anticipation winter is coming winter is coming the night king is coming oh it's about to go down you know it's about to get real and so you know winter finally arrives you know the battle you know a wonderful happens and by episode three he's dead I wasn't expecting him to like be gone so soon or so easily like the way Arya killed him I was just kind of like damn that's that's it okay and I feel like a few deaths were like that. They were just so anticlimactic. Like, okay, so after the last episode, I think it was, we all knew, like, it was quite obvious. All right, Daenerys can now rule. This girl has gone crazy. She's basically now become the Mad Queen, okay? And I think it became pretty evident to Jon, like, all right, she cannot rule. Um, so we all knew. We all predicted, as the viewers, that either John was going to end up carrying Daenerys or Arya was going to do it. So, I'm not going to lie, I was a little surprised, you know, during that scene where Daenerys and John, you know, they were kissing and you hear that one stabbed the other. At first, honestly, I thought Daenerys might have been the one that stabbed John, especially after Arya said, you know, I know a killer when I see one. And because, like, some said or like Tyrion said was it Tyrion whoever it was um who was the biggest threat to her it was John so I was like oh my god don't tell me this girl killed John but then when I saw that it was John that killed her I was like oh, wow like I'm not gonna lie it was a little bit of a sad moment you know and seeing the way Drogon reacted I was like oh and then he just ended up burning the throne down. I was like, dang, all that. And the throne ended up being burned down, you know? And so the next thing that I was just 
so underwhelmed was Cersei's death. You had us hating this woman for seven seasons, okay? She was like, I don't know, we were just all just waiting to see how this girl was going to die. Was Arya going to get her wish of killing her? Were her and Daenerys maybe going to have some type of showdown? Or was she just going to burn Cersei down? Like, we were just all anxious to see. And for her demise, for her death, to be the result of being crushed under some rubble. Really? And in Jamie's arms. Which I guess some said it was kind of like a bittersweet romanticized kind of end. Her and Jamie dying together, you know, in each other's arms. I just like really this is how she gonna die? Under some rubble? This is Cersei's death. One of the biggest antagonists of this entire series. Just crushed under some rocks. That, that's how y'all want it to end her? Why? Okay. Okay. Now, so after every episode, I would always watch episode reviews. I still, I'm going to watch an episode review for this one, even though it's done, but whatever. And so there was one channel that I came across where the YouTuber was like, you know, that he watches these breakdowns and like uh, predictions. And he said, all the predictions I've seen for every episode thus far have been correct. And if they continue to be correct based on the last spoiler that I saw, Bran is going to end up being the king. I was like, Bran? Why Bran? Like, that just seems so random to me like all these people that have been here fighting for the throne and Bran is gonna end up the king I was like no that can't be right but lo and behold as soon as I saw Tyrion giving the others you know explanation as to why Bran would be a good king I was like dang it man they were right Bran ended up being the king ran ran the broken but that um I don't think he'll be a good king I think you know he's a good person and he would be a good king but I don't know I was just kind of hoping that John would somehow realize that this is what he was meant to do um even though he didn't want him to be the ruler you know he would just to decide to go ahead and do it especially after he cared Daenerys but no they sent this dude back to the Night's Watch which I was like there's still a watch? Why? What he gonna do up there? You know I just I just don't understand like I don't know what made the producers or the writers Think that they could sum this monumental television series up in six episodes even though they were a little longer but still and another thing I was expecting to see some type of showdown between Grey Worm and Jon Snow and that didn't happen either like I don't know man now I was now, some good things. I was happy to see that Tyrion didn't get killed. Because for a second, I was like, alright, this man's about to die. He's about to die. But they, you know, they spared his life. And, um, I was also happy to see that the North was able to remain the independent kingdom. You know, I figured that might happen. So, you know, that was that was good. And Sansa became queen. Um, which Sansa, that's one. Her character development was pretty on point. She, she grew so much during the series. But, um, I don't know, y'all. I just, it's like you get so invested into a show. And, you know, all these prior seasons of Game of Thrones had set such a high expectation, you know? And this season just kind of, it just let us down a little bit. 
hear there might be some spinoffs, so I don't know if that's true or not. If any of you guys know, you know, let me know if that's true. But uh, I don't know, y'all. I just I need closure. Even though I don't know how much of closure you could get, but I just I just wish it hadn't been so rushed, and that these episodes could have been more expanded and just I don't know, maybe just different, more dramatic deaths for some of the antagonists. I don't know. I don't know. For those of you that watched Game of Thrones and, you know, you watched the finale, let me know what you guys think. Were you guys satisfied with this finale? Or do you guys feel unaffected and just underwhelmed like me? Let me know in the comments down below. And I will catch you all in the next video.